Julius willingly embraced the role of fatherhood for a set of sextuplets. A group of children that society had unfairly despised for over a decade. As they drove back to his home, Julius glanced into the rearview mirror. Observing the four girls seated in the back of his pickup truck. While two of them shared the front seat with him. The atmosphere in the vehicle was heavy with silence. The four girls at the back. Along with the two in the front. Maintained expressions that weren't overtly joyful. Instead. Their faces revealed a mixture of numbness and neutrality. It was as if they were heading to a funeral rather than to their new home. Their expressions carried the weight of numerous disappointments. A resilience formed through years of challenges and shattered hopes. Julius had just left the orphanage. Where he had completed the necessary paperwork. To become the full legal guardian of the sextuplets. They were now officially his adopted daughters. And he proudly considered himself their father. For Julius. There was no distinction between being a biological or adoptive father. He had wholeheartedly accepted these girls as his own. A decisive individual. Julius was unwavering in his commitment to these adopted daughters. The sextuplets had spent five years in the orphanage. Their tragic story captivating Julius and motivating him to make the life-altering decision to adopt them. Though deemed impulsive by onlookers. For Julius. It felt like the right choice. These sextuplets. At the age of nine. Had experienced the harsh reality of being orphaned at the tender age of four. Over the years. They had moved through various orphanages. Facing challenges and hardships. The unique aspect that struck Julius was. That all six girls shared the same birth date. Making them the first set of sextuplets he had ever encountered. Surprisingly. The girls did not resemble each other closely. Yet a strong familial resemblance tied them together. Beyond their physical appearances. They all possessed an undeniable and captivating beauty. That seemed to defy their young age. As Julius navigated the journey home. He couldn't help but marvel at the uniqueness of this newly formed family. Determined to provide these sextuplets with the love and stability they deserved. Julius found it peculiar that the sextuplets hadn't been adopted earlier. Before the caretakers shared their tragic story. The girls had been shuffled between various orphanages. And the initial one had hosted them for a mere year and a half. The longest duration they had spent in any institution. During their stay at the first orphanage, the girls exhibited signs of trauma. With unmistakable traces of PTSD, child therapy became a crucial part of their journey. Helping them gradually open up, play freely, and establish connections with other children. Despite the progress, prospective adoptive couples were hesitant to take on the challenge of adopting all six girls together. Instead, they expressed interest in adopting only one or two of them. The caretakers, grateful that anyone was willing to adopt the girls, thought that perhaps, as more couples adopted one or two, eventually, all six would find homes. However, the girls staunchly resisted separation. They cried, wailed, and protested vehemently whenever the prospect of being adopted individually arose. This led to frustration among the caretakers, prompting them to explore an alternative approach. They approached couples eager to adopt and suggested a trial period of living with the girls to determine if they could commit to adopting all six. Unfortunately, the first family they lived with didn't work out. The wife grew resentful, accusing the girls of stealing her husband's affection. This situation resulted in the girls being sent back to the orphanage. The second attempt, with another couple, initially seemed promising. However, as fate would have it, the wife became pregnant after a few weeks. 
by the second month of her pregnancy. She fell seriously ill. Blaming the girls for her condition, the husband accused them of witchcraft. Claiming they intended harm to his wife and unborn child. This accusation led to the girls being returned to the orphanage once again. Eventually transferred to a third orphanage. The girls faced yet another trial with a new couple. Each attempt had brought hope and disappointment in quick succession. The challenges they encountered painted a bleak picture. Of rejection and misunderstanding, leaving Julius even more determined to provide them. With the stability and love they desperately needed. This particular couple, deeply entrenched in their religious community, had been highly esteemed by their neighbors. No one anticipated any issues arising from their decision to adopt the sex sextuplets. Yet significant problems emerged when the couple reported the loss of valuable jewelry and money, items they were holding for others in the community. Instead of admitting their own fault, they accused the girls of theft and subjected them to severe beatings as punishment. At the tender age of seven and a half, the girls, in a display of remarkable resilience, decided to escape, collaborating in secret. They successfully fled to the police, revealing the truth. The subsequent police investigation unearthed more unsavory revelations. Infidelity on the part of the woman, and gambling involvement on the part of the man. Overnight, the couple's reputation crumbled, and the community's disdain for the sex sextuplets intensified. Consequently, they were transferred to an out-of-state orphanage, marking the beginning of a tumultuous journey through various institutions. The fifth orphanage became their new residence after the closure of the fourth, and different challenges persisted, leading them to the ninth orphanage. By this point, Frustration and exasperation from caretakers and the community had reached an all-time high. The orphanage director, believing the girls still had a chance for adoption, presented them with a heartbreaking ultimatum. They had to be separated. Overwhelmed with sadness, the girls looked at each other, fear reflecting in their eyes, as they faced the prospect of bidding farewell. It was precisely during this desperate hour that Julius, a florist employed by the orphanage director for an upcoming event, walked into their lives. Unbeknownst to them, Julius would become the unexpected anchor they needed to weather the storms of their past. The emotional response of the girls lingered in Julius's thoughts, sparking a profound sense of compassion within him, gathering his empathy. He knocked on the director's door, entered the office, and extended an extraordinary offer. Julius, undeterred by racial differences, being a black man while the girls were white, expressed his readiness to open his home to all of them. Despite societal expectations, Julius was eager to assume responsibility for the girls. The orphanage management, Relieved by Julius's genuine intentions, conducted a thorough eligibility check. A widower living with his supportive mother in her fifties, Julius and his mom earned a sufficient income capable of sustaining the entire family, including the sex sextuplets. Remarkably, Julius declined the orphanage's offer of financial support, emphasizing that he wasn't taking the girls for a trial period but, rather, to be their father. In the face of skepticism and incredulity from others who couldn't fathom why he would willingly adopt girls considered outcasts, Julius persevered. A few weeks later, the adoption proceedings were finalized at Julius's home. His mother, Mildred, eagerly awaited the arrival of the girls. Filled with love for children, she saw beyond the societal biases and embraced the sex sextuplets as her long-lost grandchildren returning home, determined to provide comfort and nurture. Mildred viewed the adoption as an opportunity to bring joy 
and stability into the girls' lives. Mildred harbored another personal reason for her excitement. Having witnessed Julius's loneliness for the past five years, since his wife's tragic demise during childbirth, she saw the adoption as a chance for him to experience the warmth and companionship of a family once again. The arrival of the sex duplet signaled not only a new chapter for the girls but also a profound transformation in the lives of Julius and his mother. Julius hadn't ventured into dating or attempted to form another family after the loss of his wife. Instead, he chose to reside with his mother in a spacious five-bedroom duplex on the outskirts of the city. The expansive land surrounding their home served a dual purpose. It not only housed the flowers Julius cultivated for his business but also accommodated a small garden. Upon the arrival of the girls at their new home, Julius, along with his mother Mildred, ensured all their basic and additional needs were met. However, the initial weeks were marked by the girls' reserved and quiet demeanor. They expressed gratitude when necessary and spoke only in response to direct queries. This guarded behavior stemmed from their past experiences, having encountered individuals who initially seemed kind but later turned hostile. Despite finding the girls' formality uncomfortable, neither Julius nor Mildred gave up on creating a welcoming environment. They continued to treat the girls with kindness, offering correction when needed and inquiring about their preferences. Although the girls initially responded with monotonous answers, Julius and Mildred persisted in their efforts. Eventually, their patience paid off. A breakthrough moment occurred when one of the girls, do, accidentally broke a cherished family heirloom that Mildred held dear. Expecting punishment, Du was surprised when Mildred responded, with genuine concern for her well-being. Instead of reprimanding Du, Mildred showered her with care and comfort, offering a warm hug. This incident became a turning point, and the girls began to see Julius and Mildred as compassionate individuals genuinely invested in their welfare. In the subsequent months, the girls gradually opened up, and the household transformed into a semblance of a real family. Some of the girls actively assisted Mildred with household chores and kitchen duties, fostering a sense of shared responsibility. Meanwhile, others immersed themselves in learning from Julius about flower cultivation and gardening. Their involvement proved fruitful, contributing to the flourishing of both flowers and a stronger familial bond. What made it even more special was the genuine enjoyment the girls found in these shared activities, turning the house into a true home. The girls didn't approach their tasks reluctantly. Instead, they immersed themselves joyfully in every activity. This infectious enthusiasm didn't go unnoticed by Julius and Mildred, who found their hearts warmed by the genuine happiness the girls exuded. In a delightful turn of events, Mildred organized a bake sale for fun, involving some of the girls. The array of delectable treats sold out quickly, with numerous requests for more. The unexpected success led the family to contemplate turning their culinary talents into a baking business. Meanwhile, Julius experienced a surge in clients for his flourishing flower services, allowing him to surprise the girls with thoughtful gifts. Two years into their shared journey, Julius decided to inquire about the girls' desires for a special activity. In unison, they expressed a wish for a camping trip. Julius wasted no time in making arrangements hiring a van for a one-night camping excursion. Despite keeping it brief in case the girls didn't enjoy the experience, the trip turned out to be a revelation. Gathered around the campfire, the girls spontaneously sang a song together, revealing hidden talents in their distinct voices that blended seamlessly and harmonized effortlessly. 
the unexpected musical prowess left Mildred and Julius in awe. They had no inkling of the girl's vocal abilities. The surprising revelation sparked an idea in Mildred's mind. Upon returning, Mildred approached the choir leader at her church, urging her to mentor the girls to enhance their singing skills. The choir leader, upon hearing the sextuplets sing, was immediately captivated by their potential. The girls, thrilled at the prospect of professional guidance, eagerly embraced the opportunity to refine their singing abilities. The joy of singing together became a shared passion for the girls. But initially, shyness kept them from performing in front of Julius and Mildred. Upon embarking on training four times a week with the choir leader, their skills improved significantly. A year of dedicated practice led to local performances at events and festivities. Showcasing their versatility in various styles, as the girls reached the age of 19. Having completed high school, three aimed for college while the others pursued business and personal interests. The prospect of a talent hunt competition arose, offering substantial prize money to support their individual endeavors. With a unanimous decision, they entered the competition, viewing it as a grand finale to their shared musical journey. Choosing an a cappella style, they dedicated themselves to rigorous practice. The competition performance was an instant success, earning them a standing ovation from both judges and the audience. Viral video clips catapulted them to social media stardom, attracting the attention of a major record label. While contemplating the record deal, an unexpected visitor arrived at their doorstep, beautiful and elegant. The woman introduced herself as Ariel, the biological mother of the girls. The revelation shocked Julius, who had adopted the girls a decade ago. Ariel shared her poignant life story, explaining the circumstances that led her to place the girls in an orphanage. Her return triggered by their viral performance, brought a mix of emotions and reconnection. As the family spent a month-long vacation at Ariel's exclusive resort, an unexpected romance blossomed between Ariel and Julius. The girls, playing matchmakers, witnessed their union culminate in a marriage proposal. Ariel moved in with Julius, her six daughters, and her caring mother-in-law creating a beautiful blend of past struggles and newfound happiness.